How's it going, aliens? My name's Alien. Today, I'm back on another Identity 5 video. In today's video, as you can see, we are everything is in Chinese, and that's because I am on the Chinese client of Identity 5 to make today's video, which will be the best persona build for every survivor in the game. If you enjoy this video, I'll make a hunter version of it next. But basically, instead of me giving you my opinions on the best survivor builds for each survivor when a lot of the survivors I may not even use. I said, why don't I just show you what the best survivors, the best players of these survivors use in the best server and what they prefer to give you the best persona builds for each character. So on that note, let's get right into the video. Okay, before I get into the persona builds, I do want to plug my Discord server. The link will be in the pinned comment below as well as in the description below. So go click the link and join the server today. I am on a daily uploading streak for the next couple of weeks. And even after then, I'll be posting a lot more consistently from now on. So as you can see, this is the Chinese server when... Uh, the hundredth player has five stars in champion. They did start a week before us, but still And you can see the hunter leaderboard if you want to Lowest ranked hunter is at two stars So let's get into the personas. We can just start off with lucky guy and go down and you can also see how many knowledge points in the highest rank for these survivors. So, the number one person is a Mammoth 3. I mean, it's lucky guy. You aren't going to get high rank players with him. Mammoth 2, and the former number one, Mammoth 2. So, let's start off. This is the Persona build. It's just Broken Windows, Tide Turner. Exit path and then max on um butterfly effect. I think that's what it's called. But it's the one that gives you 20% pallet throwing speed after being within range of the hunter for eight seconds. And it's basically to help his kiting. Um so he still has broken and everything, but now he also has this, which makes him a better kiter as well. He's using more of Ty Turner. Let's see his rank though. Mammoth 5. So, yeah, lucky guy isn't going to really be a high ranked survivor. Next, let's go to Doctor. 6,200 knowledge points for her. And the highest one is a Griffin 5. Griffin 1 is number 2, actually. So, that's pretty high. Griffin 4 <sighs> Mammoth 1 So let's get into the builds The number 1 one is using um, Broken Tide And Knee Jerk Reflex And Exit Path But the more popular build for her Would be this This is probably the build I would recommend The one the number 2 one is using Which is Broken Windows Tide Turner Exit path, of course, but max into doctor and then two points into shelter to really improve your healing speed as doctor. And if you didn't know, the doctor trait actually does speed up. Um, the last time I checked, I'm pretty sure the doctor trait does speed up your self heal. And of course, it speeds up um, healing others. Here's one last one if you want to see this. Next, Lawyer. The, lies, the highest Lawyer is 4,400 points and a Mammoth 5. So, <laughs> Griffin 3. So, I guess that's not bad. Okay. He's using Broken Windows. Um, Borrow Time. I hope I've been saying... I think I may have been saying tie turner this whole time. I don't know if I've been saying borrow time or tie turner. But any either way, the one on the right is borrow time. And broken windows. Um, stun. 
increases your stun exit path and then max snooze increases your rocket share by nine percent which lawyer already has a built-in buff on rocket share persistence so it makes sense to buff that and then the griffin is using broken windows borrow time exit path um sticker which is really good and max news because he really has a buff so this is the build i would recommend sticker is really good and then this helps him out if you die quickly <clears throat> next let's get to thief he is more viable now since his buff but he's still not a meta survivor number one is only mammoth one griffin five griffin four Griffin 3 and Mammoth 2. So let's get into the builds. The number 2 one is using Max Sticker, Broken Windows, Borrow Time, Cold, Exit Path, and Distress. Um, this is a good Distress. If you're playing with high tier players, don't use Distress because everyone knows what they're supposed to do. But if you are solo ranking, at a lower tier or even in griffin rank at tier 5 distress comes in handy a lot because no one knows what to do they don't know if who rescues first or anything like that here's another persona build um broken windows borrow time cold one point in sticker exit path and max struggle speed and struggle speed is pretty good next gardener gardener is a pretty good survivor um 6500 points is good and gardeners are pretty good survivors so you are gonna see higher ranks griffin 2 griffin 4 mammoth 1 griffin 5 and a champion with Carter. She uses br broken windows, borrowed time, max sticker, two points in snooze. Gardner also has a rocket chair persistence buff, so it makes a lot of sense to put points into snooze. Um, I'd probably recommend to do two points in sticker and max snooze instead of putting it in sticker struggle speed isn't as good on her as before because you don't break chairs breaking chairs is useless for gardener so struggle speed is no longer meta on her this one's using tie turner um borrow time exit pad sticker number three is using max news some stun increase broken windows borrow time and exit path so as you can see meta on gardener will be left to right exit path some points in sticker and max snooze to take advantage of her chair persistence next is explorer um, max points for him is 6400 right now. Griffin 2, Mammoth 2, Griffin 4, Mammoth 3. So let's check out the persona. Okay, so you use left to right, broken windows, borrow time, exit path, the persona that lets you see survivors within 18 meters. Max Airwalk, since he has a built-in, um, you know, footprint buff to where his footprints are one second. They last for one second less, so this makes them last two seconds less. So in total, now it's three seconds less. And the trait that lets you get healed 15% faster. The one is using snooze, cold, and stun. An air walk. So I would recommend this one that the number one one is using um, to use air walk.
maybe instead of getting healed faster put that in sticker take this and take this out and put in sticker but this is a great build for him next is Ford as you can see he's meta so 10.5 thousand um, points and then 10.4 and then 10k so that's pretty high and the number one is 36 stars so I think that's the number one survivor in this server 31 stars so yeah obviously Ford is S tier so let's see the personas okay this is Ty Turner borrow time max sticker exit path and being healed faster this one uses um this is my favorite persona for forward which is tied and borrowed exit path by using max knee jerk reflex the palette boost is really good for him and kiting and you can even use it to make your football faster This one is not even using Ty Turner, which you don't have to use Ty Turner on forward depending on the team comp because Mech and Merc will always have Ty. Next is Dancer, 7200 points. And the champion, Griffin, 5. Mammoth, 1. So let's see the persona. Okay, so she's using Max Airwalk, Sticker, Exit Path, Code, and then Left to Right. This is probably the Meta Dancer build right here. Um, left to Right, Exit Path, Max Stun. Obviously, Dancer uses Stun. And Sticker, and then Code, or you can put that point into Sticker. And they're using uh, stick max stun as well, but struggle speed. Next is Wildling, 6,300 points. And the number one is a Griffin 3. Griffin 2. So this isn't bad. This is decent. Griffin 1, so relatively high. The number two one is using Ty Turner, Borrow Time, 30% um, Gets Healed Faster, Sticker, and Exit Path. Number three is using Struggle Speed. This is another build. So next is Magician. 7,600 points, so pretty decent. And it's a Griffin 1 that's about to be champion. Griffin 1. So relatively high ranks. Griffin 1, yeah. Number one is using this persona build. So this is interesting. It's max struggle speed, left, right, exit path, distress, and um, I forgot what this one is, but you can go look. Never use this one. Number two is using sticker, struggle speed, left, right. news next is mercenary he is of course really meta so he's at 9600 points so far that's the second highest we've seen ford was at 10.5 merc is at 9.6 so that's a pretty big difference but this is so far the second highest and the number one is of course it's going to be champions with a lot of stars
so they're using tie turner borrow time exit path being healed faster and max sticker of course this is really good for mer mercenary because of his healing debuff they're using the same thing so that seems to really be the meta merc build so that your healing isn't slowed so it's a fast healing coordinator pretty decent nearly eight thousand points in griffin one griffin one okay so they're using max new she of course has a rocket share persistence 10 percent so it makes sense to stack this onto that sticker code and then they are using broken windows and borrow time this is something i've been telling people and they seem to be confused by it a lot of people think that coordinator should use tie turner and coordinator is not a good kiter so if you don't use broken windows on coordinator you're probably going to die fairly quickly and now that her chair persistence isn't long usually you want to be using left to right on coordinator so if you have a let's say meta team comp merc cord mech perfumer the mech and the merc will carry tie you're gonna carry broken windows the flare gun works as a tie turner anyway now if you have less rescuers or you don't have a mechanic on your team that's when you want to use tie turner borrow time and then just make sure you have max knee jerk reflex so that you at least have the pallet speed boost at worst i mean at least you need to have max pallet speed if you want tie turner but you can also just use left to right this one left to right so you can see meta on her is left to right i know a lot of people had been confused about that mechanic is pretty high in points the only reason she's not higher is because she's banned a lot and of course champions with super high stars left to right but this is more situational for mechanic she depends on team comp so this build is probably used because they had enough rescuers already a merc and a first officer or a merc and a forward so you didn't need to carry tide but if you don't have enough rescuers then you of course carry tide See, like this one's using tie turner so she's just situational you carry tie turner if you have enough i mean if you don't have enough tides or if you just feel comfortable kiting with tie turner mechanic and you carry broken if you have at least two tie turners already mine's eye of course she's not that meta so her points are lower and the ranks are lower So she would use left to right, sticker, cold is a must on mind's eye, unique cold on mind's eye, exit path, and then uh, max stun because you do get a lot of stuns with mind's eye. This one's using cold but max chair because you're going to die quicker so you want to be able to survive longer. This one's using struggle speed and stun this is stun and this is a combination of stun and snooze next is priestess priestess is really meta right now this is the highest points we've seen so far at 11.1k now there's a drop off so her points isn't as consistently high as forward but she does have the single most so far we've seen they have 35 stars in champion priestess is op right now she's like a plus tier s tier on many maps but 
she's getting nerfed hard soon so she won't be meta anymore thank goodness because i hate priestess a lot so priestess is really interesting priestesses can use broken windows or tie turner but what you do need which not enough priestesses use and this is a must tie turner is not a must what's a must on this build is of course broke uh borrow time and exit path but then it's doctor you need to put your points into max doctor because when you do the super portal you need to heal fast or else the hunter can catch up in time priestess plus it buffs the healing boost she already possesses <coughs> so max doctor is a must on priestess but you can use tie turner or broken windows she's kind of like mechanic it just depends on the team comp really see they all have max doctor but this can change priestess with broken windows is an insanely good kiter like insane Kai turner she's still really strong if you use knee jerk reflex with her yeah she's still really strong but yeah basically to sum up priestess is broken but she's getting nerfed soon so it'll be fine but just make sure to use max doctor on her perfumer it's going to be of course high champions oh not too high but still And it's 8,400 points. So they're using left to right. Exit path, sticker. You need sticker on Perfumer. You need it because she has slow healing. So you have to use sticker. And then they're using this one um, to counter her other debuff, which is the Calibrations debuff. This isn't necessary, but of course you can use it um, to where you don't lose any progress. So when it's using stun, struggle speed, sticker, left to right. Snooze. Next is Cowboy 8k points and a champion. Griffin. So let's see. Of course, you use max stun because he already has long stun, plus max stun makes it insanely long. And left to right, you need on Cowboy. And he's using some struggle speed too. And so he can see survivors within 18 meters. And next is Seer. So, of course, 9200 points. He's meta, but he gets banned a lot. So it's not going to be that high. Snooze and sticker, sticker and struggle speed, and then of course a bunch of stars. Next is Embalmer. His buff made him decent, but he's still not meta. Um, he's just a decent survivor. Griffin five, Griffin three, and seven thousand points. So basic this is really the basic persona build um for a survivor if they have no special need or anything it would be left right exit path two and sticker max news because it used to be struggle speed but struggling got nerfed to where it doesn't really do too much so because of that struggle speed really isn't meta so instead, you just put it in snooze for longer chair persistence. This one's using distress. Um, next is prospect. 
Hunter, 9,300 points, but then lower at like 8K, 7K. He's pretty good. He's not meta, like, you know, hardcore used every game. Um, but he's a relatively good survivor, of course. And the number one is at 18 stars, so that's really good. And once again, the basic survivor build for him. And uh, just a variation of that. You can just pick which of one you like more. I just like snooze probably more. I still use struggle speed. But it's nerfed. So it just really depends on what you want. But he doesn't have any special circumstance. Enchantress points decently high. Um, she's not as good as she used to be. Only griffin one is highest and then a champion second highest so she's not as good as she used to be so that's why her points are lower she's not used as much this one's using cold max snooze and distress the champion is actually using tie turner on her oh uh, no not tie turner no yes tie turner I mean, they're not using borrow time. I don't recommend this. Um, but of course, I'm sure there was probably a circumstance where it was okay. But I'm just saying for regular matches, don't not bring borrow time. That's the easy way to make your teammates hate you. Um, and Max, this is this trade's really good on her because she has a healing debuff. So to get healed quicker, it's pretty good. left right so this for enchantress this seems to be the trait you want which is to get healed quicker so that it takes away her healing debuff sticker and struggle speed acrobats next decently high is it um pretty good survivor this is a good build for acrobat but only use this if you need a titan if you have enough titans there's no point in doing in just bringing tide but he doesn't really absolutely need broken windows um because he can use his balls through the windows anyway so need your reflex and then tie turner and ball time is a pretty good build on him so that you have another tie turner champion 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 so you can see he's a pretty good survivor using left to right news code and sticker left to right struggle speed and sticker and left to right first officer is pretty good but his points isn't too high um it's a lot it's mainly because he's a great survivor and of course really and he's of course meta but forward is just better than him like merc and forward is better than merc and officer so especially with the buff to mobile plus pc forwards which have been a thing in china forever why would a team ever really use a first officer when they could just bring forward who's better when used correctly um only when you do like four rescuers and stuff but he's still great of course decently high points and the ranks and the points doesn't really tell the full story on him because like i say he's just he's just outclassed by forward so that's why his points are lower and his ranks are lower because you'd rather use that than the first officer but he's still a great survivor um this is why i would probably recommend down right and then knee jerk reflex basically same thing there barmaid who is pretty good she's really good points are low but don't let this deceive you she's a really good survivor probably the best support survivor right now but she is much better in a tournament um 
aspect in a tournament environment and in an environment where you have VC because that just makes her a better survivor. But she's still really good, even in rank 2. Left, right, snooze, and sticker. So it just seems to be the default hiding bills for her. Doctor, that's interesting since she has she doesn't have to actually heal up anyone. She could just give them wine. So that's interesting. And lastly, the newest survivor, um, Postman. As you see, the ranks aren't that high. He's not a oh, champion for that one. Griffin 1. So it's decent ranks for him. Mammoth 4. Griffin 3. He's... He's a decent survivor. He's not like S tier or anything like that. But he's a decently good survivor. Um, and a decent support. So just a basic hiding build for him. But that's every single survivor. I know this has been a long video, but there's so many survivors now in season nine and now she's season 10 in China that this video is just going to take a, a while to do. But I do hope that this helped you out and that you learned something from this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel and that'll be all for the video. Bye.